Hey, what's up? <clears throat> this is Fahim Faisal. Well, I'm back once again live and um, I just wanted to hang out with my friends in this community. Um, so that's why I came live. Actually, I don't have anything specific um, to share about in this live. So I just want to um, hang out and uh, just want to talk with you guys, interact with each other. You know, most of my lives, what I do is I come here and uh, I speak, I share about a topic, I um, share my insights about uh, a topic. But in this life, I absolutely have no preparation, nothing. So I don't know where I will go. I don't know what I will share. But I know that I will share from my life experience. OK, so I have two good news. Uh, sorry, one good news and one bad news okay the good news is i brought this uh it to uh, yesterday to actually protect my eyes from you know uh, uh, harmful rays from smartphones and laptops because i'm really working long hours in front of laptop five hours six hours so now i'm young i don't feel the effect of that okay so uh, i i brought this so that the rays um, they can't harm affect my eyes okay so this is the good news and the bad news is I was having headache the whole day today okay it's uh, around 9 p.m. here so I woke up at 10 a.m. after that I was having headache mild headache but it uh, continued until evening so alhamdulillah I'm good now I'm feeling much better so um, that was my state today so uh, if you read the title of today's life, then you, what does it mean? What do I mean by is it really a business? Okay, so after doing organic marketing actively close to three hour, three years now, uh, I was thinking about my journey today. Okay, so uh, I, I reflected on my journey in the three years, what mistakes I made, my growth, my business. So I was thinking about most people that do they really have a business because people are screaming about organic marketing business, high ticket affiliate marketing business, you know, affiliate marketing business, online business. OK, so but most people do they really have a business? So uh, since doing it like I started actually my affiliate marketing in 2018. So it's four years, close to four years now. OK, so I was thinking my story, my uh, I was reflecting on my career, four years of career. So I'm actively investing one hour to two hour every day on Facebook, on Messenger, talk to people on a regular basis. I actually try to, you know, understand about people, their business, what they're doing, what kind of struggles they're facing and all that thing. So it's unfortunate that most people really don't have a business. OK, they say that they have a business. They call themselves entrepreneurs, but they are really not. OK, and, uh, you know, if, if we look at a uh, brick and mortar business and offline business, what are the you know components of a business? OK, a business must have a product. OK, a business uh, sells that product. And by selling that, it makes a profit, right? And a business has marketing department. A business has, by the way, Jay is watching with me. Look, I don't know wh where this life is going, okay? I don't have any intentional topic to, you know, uh, cover today. I just want to hang out with you guys today, okay? So I want you guys to, if you're watching live, give me a hashtag live. And if you're watching replay, give me a hashtag replay, okay? So I just want to hang out. I just want to share my story. I want to know your story. I want to know if you have any questions for me. If I have the answer, I'll definitely answer, OK? So I just want to hang out with my community today, OK? So please interact with me. Ask your questions and all that stuff, OK? So if we look at a brick and mortar business, then a business have marketing department, HR department, all that things. But people say that they have an online business, but unfortunately, they never uh, actually invest in developing their skills, 
you know they they are doing affiliate marketing they are coaching but they start today after a few days they are coach but they have no uh, knowledge in that really because i see that most people they never actually take proper ten training but they call themselves entrepreneurs okay i know that online business takes very limited amount of money to start to run deep uh, comparing to offline business because you know i had a back showroom back in 2018 before start doing affiliate marketing full time so i have a back business and and i i think that uh, in our currency 5 lakh is nothing to do an offline business okay how much would it be like 5 6000 okay uh, i was i invested 6000 in that business but i didn't really think that it's a lot of money but if i ask you to invest 1000 in an online business but most people will hesitate they will think that it's go, it's going to be a uh, waste it's it's not they are not going to get any return out of because they don't really believe in it itself they don't really take it as a business guys because in an offline business i thought 6000 dollars nothing it's very low limit amount of money to start a back showroom okay but if you ask me to invest only 2000 dollar in an online business i will think twice because people have a skeptical mindset on all, especially when it comes to online business okay very skeptic that is because maybe they don't believe it or maybe they don't really think it's a business okay because they are doing social media spending time on social media they never invested in any program so they don't really value their time and they don't really take it as a business guys because they spend time when they feel like when they don't they don't if you don't treat it as a business how can you call yourself as an entrepreneur if you can invest $6000 in an offline business and you are not willing to invest $1000 in your coaching in an online business how can you call yourself an entrepreneur they don't take it as a business okay so it's really unfortunate because guys look it's really important that you invest in a good training program and i learned it i made that mistake but please don't do it okay i made the mistake of learning from everybody learning from people on messenger you know never really took an uh, it's really powerful it's really important that you invest in a good training program and when i started organic marketing in 2019 2019 to at the beginning of 2021 i was learning all by myself and i thought i know everything okay but in 2021 when i really really invested in a high ticket program a high ticket mastermind program then i realized that it's really really important it's really really important and i realized that after joining the uh, mentorship program training program okay so guys it's I, i told you that i don't have anything specific to share in this live i just wanted to share with you my experience you may think that hey this guy is uh, talking like a guru but he didn't invest in his career for 2 years yes i made that mistake and that's why i know that it's really a harmful mistake okay really dangerous that you learn try to learn everything by yourself without investing in a Uh, in a mentor or in a program whatever it is okay you have to you must and i realized that after joining in a high ticket program then i realized oh my god i wish i did that 2 years ago i don't care what you think about me i really don't but if one person only one person learns the lesson from this life and they realize the value of uh, stepping in and joining a master uh, joining in a mastermind program then it's worth it i don't care what you think about me guys really okay but i want you to be successful that's why i'm sharing my experience my life lessons without hesitation totally transparent okay so please think about it as a business compared to offline business online business takes very little investment but the result the profit really really very high compared to Uh, offline business because in my back shop i invested six thousand dollars but um like 
in dollar monthly profit if i calculate in dollar it would be 300 dollars monthly i invested six thousand dollars but i didn't expect more than 300 dollars from that monthly after giving all that exp uh, all that expenses okay so look at the investment and look at look at the return but when i uh, invested one thousand dollar in the mastermind program then the next month i took it back i, I closed a sale one thousand five hundred dollar and i got uh, around seven hundred fifty dollar commission from that sale i was able to hit my five first five thousand dollar month online after learning from it that's why guys it's really really important okay uh, so i don't know uh, if you liked it or not doesn't matter but if you learn something valuable from it then it's worth it okay take it as a business make a routine guys look your biz i am i'm still struggling with my habits trust me okay your business is 100 percent your reflection you as a person if you do if you have bad habits it's gonna affect your business okay and if you don't do the work like 30 minutes a day, one hour a day, two hours a day, you spend only two hours in, a, in your business and you call yourself an entrepreneur and you want to uh, make $10,000 online. Is it possible? I don't think so. To make $10,000 monthly from online, you at least should give three to four, four hours a day, right? Because it's your business. You want to make $10,000 online. There shouldn't be a gap between what you expect and how much you put in because your reward will always be based on the effort you give, based on the work you do, okay? So uh, trust me, guys, I still have bad habits. I still struggle with my bad habits. And the most dangerous habit that I have is I really stay late at night, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I go to sleep after 2 a.m., you know, and I wake up like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Sometimes it's really bad. I really wish that I could wake up early 6 a.m. in the morning because I realized that after 11 p.m. at the night, I don't really work. Maybe I watch movies, which is a dangerous, bad habit, guys. Don't watch movies. It's a time killer, okay? Instead, watch some valuable thing on YouTube. That will be helpful, okay? So it's a bad habit. I, uh, I stay late at night. And I wake up late, uh, you know, late in the morning. If yeah, if I could wake up in the like 6 a.m. in the morning, I real uh, I just calculated that I would have five hours more work because I wake up at 10 a.m. You know, uh, breakfast and all that takes one hour, so I start work at 11 a.m. If I woke up at 6 a.m., that would be five hours more work. So your business is a reflection. Uh, of you okay so eliminate bad habits work five to six hours a day take it as a business if you didn't take any uh, good training take the training and you will be it you will have a business and you will be able to call yourself an all an entrepreneur okay so thank you guys thank you for being with me and uh, i shared freely so uh, let me know what you think about the life if you loved it or not if you learned any valuable lessons or not and if you have any questions anything about organic business model about online business please ask those questions in group because you know i really want you guys to be successful and uh, if you ask question and i know that i will be happy to answer that because i love helping others okay I, I care for you so please ask questions in the group make post ask your questions what you have in mind share about your goals you know so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this live ask your question in the comments and let's talk again sometime soon have a great day ahead